Welcome to our lesson on using Spring Async. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to enable asynchronous functionality in Spring. We're going to look at an asynchronous method example. We're going to test asynchronous functionality. And we're going to learn how to handle exceptions from asynchronous methods. Now let's look at some coding examples. Here is our basic Spring configuration file. We're simply going to add an enable async annotation to this in order to turn on async processing for this Spring application. Now let's look at a component that we created to add the async annotation to a method. Here is our method that we wish to be asynchronous. We're simply going to add the async annotation to make this method asynchronous. Now we're going to write our unit test. Since in order to show asynchronous processing, you have to run with the full spring stack, this is really more of an integration test. Our first step is to auto wire in the component that we're testing. Now we're going to write our test method. Then, in order to give the thread a time to execute, we're going to put a sleep in at the end of our unit test. Now we're going to run our unit test. And then you can see from the results that the start and end ran first, and then the execute method ran in a separate thread. To handle exceptions inside of our asynchronous method, we need to create a custom exception handler. You do this by implementing async uncaught exception handler. Then to use that class, we need to make changes to our configuration object. First, we have to implement async configurer. Then we're going to return our new custom async exception handler. Now let's add an exception to our asynchronous method. And now let's fix our existing integration test. Now let's create a unit test that throws our exception. We've given the sleep plenty of time because we want to be able to set a breakpoint and watch it run. We're setting a breakpoint here so we can see the execution. And there we had our breakpoint, proving that the custom async exception handler worked. All right, I hope you've enjoyed learning about Spring Async. If you want to learn more about Spring, definitely explore the channel. We have lots of these practical guides to various aspects of the Spring framework.